at 15. Going out. Section A, video games. Sounds quite interesting, right? First, let's learn some new words that appear in today's lesson. Amusement. Amusement is the feeling when you enjoy something that is funny or fun. We need to have amusement after stressful lessons, right? This is an arcade. A place where you can play games on machines using coins. Inventor. Inventor is a person who has invented something. Skill. Skill is one's ability. For example, the students study English. They should practice all skills. Listening, speaking, reading and writing. When we learn English, we need to have four skills. Listening, speaking, reading and writing. Skill is the ability to do something well. The next word we have, teaching aid. If teachers want to demonstrate their lesson vividly, they will use teaching aids in their lessons to help students engage and remember the lesson better. Teaching aid is equipment teacher uses to demonstrate in lessons. University is a place where people study for higher education. Industry means the people and activities involved in one type of business. Image is another word for picture. Socialise is to spend time with people when you're not working. Social is the adjective of socialise. Develop is to grow or change into stronger form. For example, children should play outdoors and develop their social skills. Protect is to keep someone or something safe from injury or damage. Rob is to steal money or belongings from someone using violence. It will have two nouns. Robbery, a crime of stealing. And robber, a person who steals. If something is addictive, it means you cannot stop doing it. Dizzy is when you're feeling like everything is turning around. I have learned for such a long time, I feel dizzy. And in today's grammar, we will learn how to use modal verbs. Can, should, must. What are vo modal verbs? Do you remember? It is a verb that is followed by the infinitive or another verb. For example, you must be careful. Here is modal verb must. And after this modal verb, we use an infinitive or another verb. In this case particularly, it is be. You must be careful. Video games can be addictive. Can also goes with an infinitive. Children should play outdoors. After the modal verb should, also an infinitive. They shouldn't play video games for a long time. So shouldn't, followed by play, an infinitive. 
They mustn't forget to do all the things. Mustn't, another modal verb, followed by the infinitive, forget. In conclusion, please pay attention and remember, modal verbs such as can, should, must, are followed by an infinitive of another verb. It's also applied to the negative form, can't, shouldn't, mustn't, are followed by an infinitive. Modal verbs are followed by an infinitive. Next is just a revision from what you've learned before. It is how to ask questions using how often and how long. For example, remember how to use how often. How often does he go to the amusement center? He goes to the amusement center once a week. How long does he usually stay? He stays for about an hour. Let's review how to use often. You can use how often to ask your friends if they usually do an activity. And if you want to ask about the length of time, you can start the question with how long. Now, let's revise the vocabulary that appears in today's lesson. There are amusement, arcade, inventor, skill, teaching aid, university, Industry, image, develop, robber, addictive, dizzy, rob. Protect. Socialize. Besides, we learned about how to use modal verbs such as can, should, and must. Following modal verbs is an infinitive of another verb. Please remember this. Modal verbs go with an infinitive, and we've learned how to use how often and how long before. How often is used to ask about the frequency and how long is used to ask for the length of time. Let's revise and please remember. See you in the next lessons of English for Grade 7 of the Super Memory for Schools programme.